Today on the Spiel. I have a serious girl crush on this one. Becca Mueller Williams. You know, I saw this unique art that has so many dimensions and such a story attached. We're making a Hawaiian fish because it's a little chilly in Southern Illinois, so I figured uh, we'll bring some warm weather here. Let's go to the okay. tropics, this baby. is actually my favorite fish in the whole world. Of all the fish I've ever cooked with, this is it. What is it's it? It's called opaka paka. Opaka paka. It's a red snapper. Opaka paka paka. And today we yes. have Terry Coons of Max Velo Swing. You can help take a lot of that fear away because you're helping to improve athletes. Yeah. And all of this is it's scientific. I mean, you've been measuring mm -hmm. this. It's amazing what you've done for these girls. Because lately I've been thinking about you pushing me on the other side of the country. This is The Spiel. I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams. They'll see, cause I've got perfect songs and melodies just waiting to come out of me. And you'll sing along like, oh, whoa. Fancy words, clever lines and tales that take you back in time and you'll sing along. Like oh, oh, and they'll know. Everyone will know. They should have believed in me. Should have believed, baby. Hey, welcome to the Spiel. Got another great, great show. We're in our new clothes. We're in our makeup, and we're ready for the day. Was that a hey or a hi? Did we say hey? Hey. Did I say hey? I don't know. I, I don't know, but I, I, I think it's say preferred hey. and wherever you, know, you are. I think I said hey. You know, a cool part about this job, we agree, um, one reason that we did this, a big reason, is the people we get to meet. Everybody yes. has a story, but mm -hmm. man, you know, it's kind of cool to realize that celebrities, big names, everybody that you know, they're just like everybody else. Sure, right? they put their pants on just one like leg we at do. a time, just like we do. And you know, we've got a, a, a good buddy in uh, Thomas Rhett, mm -hmm. love him. We've interviewed him uh, a number of times. And uh, if, if you follow country music, you know how well he is doing. You know that he's a standout now. He's, he's winning all the awards and such. And I tell you, this is something that people are still talking about. I don't care when this show airs, they are still talking about the night. That it was, it was a, um, a, a, a night for celebration. Uh, a lot of the country music greats were being honored, but it was also a devastating evening because Kane Brown's drummer had been killed in a car accident. Right. And Kane decided to come up and, and um, accept the award in honor of Kenny, his drummer. And then what was it that Thomas Rhett did next and how great was it? He said, and I, I knew what he was going so to. So great. He said, do you mind if we stop and pray real quick? I don't know if this is very conventional, but can I just pray really fast? Is that okay with everybody? Number one, kudos, phenomenal. That's something that you know we should we should all do, and we should all aspire to be more like. And not afraid, no matter how many cameras are pointed at you or friends who are looking at you, because it's important. Or how many doesn't believe in your audience? Do it anyway. Yeah, do it. I mean, you know. Look, I, I just don't know when the big shift happened. You know what I mean? But he truly felt like he was tiptoeing and that there, there might be some fallout, but good for you. And, yeah, hats um, off. That was... Yeah. None of us are going to escape the death thing, and it's nice to know that, that people care and they're trying to lift you up and, and you know... I love that. Do you think this is going to get us a dinner at either Kane's or uh, Thomas just by talking about it? Talking about it or doing this? We would just like to come over. What were you doing this for? Like, we don't even want to do interviews anymore. We want to do cool things like spiel it in your kitchen, in your closet. Um, we could just have some fun. We could yeah. have fun doing this. <laughs> no, wouldn't that be fun? We've been in Deborah Allen's closet, and that yes, was a yeah. hoot. Her whole house. So, oh, you know, whose closet do you want to be in? Oh. Uh, if you could pick one. Reba? Country. Oh. Dolly? Yes, Dolly's. They would fit our Barbie dolls, but I would love to go oh, in Dolly's. Man, closet. that would be awesome. So, Dolly, Dolly, if you're open, 
We're available. And congratulations on 50 years of oh. country music. What a what a great lady. At the Grand Ole Opry. What a great, yeah. great lady. You know, we've had a lot of, here, here's what the other thing, the, when you have any longevity and you see where people start and where they're going, and we've we've had a lot of those unknowns who have come up and they've now performed on the Opry and mm-hmm. we'll be in their closet before you know it. Yes. All right. Yes. So stay right there. We have a whole show for you. We'll be right back. Coming up on The Spiel. Who was Miss Attitude here? This is how I felt one day. Search through so many photographs on Mm -hmm. my computer Mm -hmm. and find somebody who is giving me the tube that I want that day, and that's where it goes. The tube. I like it. Coming up later in the show. The dish that I'm doing today can be used, you can use any kind of fish that is uh, uh, mild, flaky, and firm. We're, we're gonna kind of infuse the dish today with citrus. You oh. know, they use that a lot in, in Hawaiian cuisine. Yes. My name is Ronnie Waldron. I'm the mortgage loan officer, the card of a location for the Bank of Heron. My customers mean to me more than just a closing or more than just an application. It is a relationship. It's the start of a relationship or the advancement of a relationship. Many customers come back over and over for refinances, additional purchases, lines of credit. Relationships that are built throughout this process do last a lifetime. automobile accidents and when you get hurt at work. Those insurance companies are in business for one thing. They're in business to make money. We deal with insurance companies who make their money by holding on to it as long as possible. My real heart and soul is helping people who've been injured, workers' comp, serious injuries, where their lives are just shattered. Insurance companies are going to try and take advantage. My job then is to come in and make sure we get them fair settlements. Our goal is to have people return to us satisfied and happy. They have problems and you can help them solve those problems. Probably the most important thing in medicine is to have a home, a place where you can come and be seen and get treatment for minor or serious conditions. My name is Dr. Harry Carter. I see patients in very different situations and circumstances and at all times trying to make a difference in their lives. One should not feel like they can't come in with a problem and allow us to help them fix it. Come in, I think that'd be the best way and the easiest way. We'd love to have patients join us and we'd love to help serve them. Visit us at crhpc.org. We take somebody who knows nothing about a diesel engine. What we offer is a basic course in diesel engine. I've done what I'm teaching, so I'm not just reading it out of a book. I do it for a living, too. Our graduates, they're already up in top tech. They can work on Caterpillar, John Deere, Komatsu. It doesn't matter. They went from hardly nothing to up to here, and most of these guys knew nothing until they came through here. Three Rivers College, success starts here. Enroll now. Visit trcc.edu. At Silkworm here, we've always been given the freedom to take care of the customer. We like to meet people face to face. We talk to people on the phone, via email, whatever works best for the customer. Well, here you can come in, you can have your own artwork. It can be completely hand drawn and our team of custom artists will bring it to life. We're not trying to get the biggest order. We're really just trying to take care of customers. We've got a great team that is trying really hard to keep our reputation of quality products on time with awesome customer service. So you know I stalk people, but I have a serious girl crush on this one. Becca Mueller Williams, thank you so much for finally showing up. Thank you. You ran from me for so long, <laughs> didn't you? She's <laughs> a shy girl. She, she is. Yeah. You know, I saw this unique art that has so many dimensions and such a story attached. And I'm watching you and I follow and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And then we started messaging and got nothing. And she's like, now, and all of a sudden, here you are. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you. Thank you you for inviting me. Yeah. You know what, let's start by talking um, how you got started. Mm -hmm. Have you always been an artist? Did you go to art school? I I was an artist when I was a teenager uh, and thought I wanted to be that and then kind of realized I needed to, uh, I wasn't very good. And I didn't know what I wanted to be, so I went into a different profession. And uh, as I was ending my teaching career, uh, I knew I wanted to do something, so I started looking around and um, picked up a paintbrush, and it's kind of blossomed. I have a question. (laughs) When you say, I wasn't very good, how how does one define that with art? 
I was not confident in what I was doing, confidence. and I was doing okay. a lot of realistic things, and I, Which was, is I was not yeah. good at it. Yeah. Uh, and um, you would look at it and say, "That does not look real." Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> I mean, it really was terrible, and uh, I didn't know how to express what I wanted to express then. Wow. And but do you do it now in those <laughs> eyes? And, I know. Um, gosh, when did you? Have you always done the three D? You want to put those little surprises in there? Or? No. This came about because I had a bunch of this stuff laying around the house. Okay. I, thought, I, I thought I wanted to do crafts. Yeah. Uh, oh. And I took up painting instead. And I, this stuff is all boxes of it. And um, Are you hoarding this or are you going to show people? I tried it one I, day. I, you know, I'm just, every yeah. time I look at one of these paintings, I see something different. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what it's <laughs> like, about. Yeah. Like this right here. Everyone else wants a smooth canvas. You go and put texture, don't you? Look yes. at the texture. I love that. I just noticed that. And you that. encourage people to touch your art. Mm -hmm. Wow. Once it's dry. I know. Yeah. Unless Once it's, it's dry. Yes. Unless it's the acrylic. Yeah, touch okay. it. Because it's it's very text uh, textured. So you've, you've got the pieces on there, but then you also try to leave little messages. You yes. said that you'll sometimes find that. How did mm -hmm. that come about and what is that inspiration? I have a lot of books too. Okay. I read a lot and I uh, had some extra books laying there and uh, one day I took the chance and cut a little piece out and then glued it on there and it, you kind of you kind of see it seen through. Love sometimes it. I paint over it, but sometimes you can still find it in there. Does um does this one have one because I've been looking. I don't think this one does. Okay. Who no. is Miss Attitude here? I mean, this is and she keeps showing up. You know, I mean, this she's is, in a bad mood. This is a lady in my family. It uh -huh. looks just like her. Yeah. This is how I felt one day. Yeah, <laughs> is that that is truly what you do? Is you just yes. it's expression? It's uh, I I uh, searched through so many photographs on mm -hmm. my computer mm -hmm. and find somebody who is giving me the two that I want that day and that's where it goes. The two. <laughs> I like it. Now you said that you will paint your your imagery, your likeness. Um, which which one Here. this is okay, this is the depiction of you. Mm -hmm. And that one. Okay. This and this, oh, this one. one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And she did this one she said because she was that. learning hands. Yes. yes. That is great. Yes. Well, you know, it's fun to watch you, so we want to encourage people to follow you. Um, on Instagram, mm -hmm. your Becca, handle? Becca M4220. Okay. So if you do Becca, you, she'll be there. She's hot. She's everywhere. On Instagram, I try and post a, a if I'm painting each day, I'll post something each day. What, yeah. is, what has been, like, the hardest part for you? Has it been the eyes? Has it been the hair? Has it been the hands? Hands uh, and... The faces come about because faces were so hard for me. So I've just been, for the past year and a half, just working almost all the time at yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and just trying to eat it. Where the nose and the face and the eyes go, you know, get That's them in so the right great. spot. That's so great. And you're, you're almost instructional on your channels. Do you do that purposely? I, I don't. Or you just think, want to take people through the yeah, different things? Yeah, I think phases. I was doing it that way, yeah. Okay. Well, I love it, and it's great. And, you know, what is the underlying message? What do you want people to feel? What is it that you want them to take away from your art? Uh, the girl crush, right? And then they keep following you like I did. <laughs> Attitude. Well, here's the deal. Uh, God is good, has touched you. Wow. Your art says so much. It's one of those pieces that you can stare at for hours and hours. And like Julie said, continually see new things. So, yes. job thank well you. done. Thank you. We appreciate thank you. you. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank we'll you all. Right back. Coming up on the spiel. So leftover rice is great to use for fried rice. So I brought a little leftover rice from the restaurant and I have some, you know, I'm trying to use all the leftovers. You know, uh, I try to put a lot of vegetables in it too so you're not eating just rice. Right. Coming up later in the show. I had a father said my daughter struck out almost 50 times oh, wow. over the course of a season. Well, they brought her in here and he, not too long ago, he said, hey, she hit three triples in a ball game. And awesome. it's just amazing as the contact and the awesome. success she's having. I'm Derek Joplin. I'm the welding instructor and the program manager. The virtual welding machines, they are able to grade you to a fuller scale. Of course, as a new student comes in, they're not used to welding. They won't take the heat. It's just really good to have them start out on that. Well, the benefits of these machines would be low material cost. The way it is set up, it is amazing of how accurate it is. There is 
something sweet that happens every August in Shawnee Forest Country. When a summer of sunshine has blanketed endless acres of fruit trees and row after row is ripe for the picking. When you can pick nature's candy and savor the sweetness of a perfectly ripe peach right off the tree, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. To learn more, visit southernmostillinois.com. It's life changing. I've been in practice about 27 years. My name is Dr. Chris Hugh. I'm a general dentist with specialized training in dental implantology, IV sedation, and cosmetic dentistry. Being compassionate, learning over the years how to make patients feel comfortable. I love for people to come to me because I'd like to change their lives by improving their smiles, the way they can eat, and it's something that we do here on a daily basis at Hughes Dental Arts Center. One thing that I do tell people is I think you want a bank that's going to invest in you not just to get your business. Our philosophy is really to help people create a plan, building relationships with people, not really to sell a product. We have 12 locations in Southern Illinois. We're going to make sure that we're also investing into the schools, that we're also investing back into the community. Marion, Carbondale, Benton, Johnson City, Mounds, Metropolis, El Dorado, Harrisburg, Vienna, Galatia. We know that the customer success is our success. At CRHPC Health Centers, we offer excellent care to patients in the 11 Southern Illinois communities we serve. We believe your health matters more than your income. We offer flexible payments so that your health can finally be a priority. Schedule your appointment by calling 800-408-7351. For all your health care needs, visit us at crhpc.org. Let us be your medical home. To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit SpielOn.com. And we are spieling it in our beautifully decorated oh, kitchen. Isn't it lovely? That is such a gorgeous spray. Who doesn't? Do this in front of your stove before you're preparing your meal for your family. It it's looks just, like it's I a knocked must. it over. But it's this is on purpose, you Lumet know. Lumet Flowers, we do appreciate you taking oh. care of the set design, Prairie Farms. We thank you for bringing this segment to our viewers. And uh, I'll make sure not to uh, catch that on fire while I'm cooking. <laughs> Please, with yes. Great, yes. thank you. Thanks. Do we have a fire extinguisher in the house, by the way? I don't think that we Wait. do. Just run. Yeah, we run. do. That's okay. the extinguisher, okay. What are we making, Lassie? Well, uh, we're making a Hawaiian fish because it's a little chilly in Southern Illinois, so I figured uh, we'll bring some warm weather here. Let's go to the okay. tropics, this baby. is actually my favorite fish in the whole world. Of all the fish I've ever cooked with, this is it. What is it's it? It's called opaka paka. Opaka paka. Yeah. Paca. You know what? Think it's, about it. It's a red snapper. Opaka paka. Opaka paka. Mahi mahi. Opaca, Do they think we don't get it the first good. time? Feels good. Opaka paka. Mm -hmm. But why you got to say it twice? I think this is the first time I've Can ever heard Can we just go opaka? So is, is it not readily available? Uh, no, it's a Hawaiian fish, so... Uh, they don't ship, they don't... They, you have they to go do, there to but, get it. Uh, it's, it's probably uh, not conducive to the home cook. But the dish that I'm doing today can be used, you can use any kind of fish okay. that is uh, uh, mild, flaky, and firm. Nice. Before we, we put this on the stove, uh, I want to uh, make uh, some, we're, we're going to kind of infuse the dish today with citrus. Oh. You know, they use that a lot in, in Hawaiian cuisine. Yes. And I'm using a chartreuse knife. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. There's a lot of words today, opaka paka, chartreuse, and what it does, it makes these great. Uh, How come you said I probably couldn't do that? Well, you said you, you probably you could not try do it. it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Julie, be careful. We don't want to do that to your finger. See, I didn't go deep enough today. No, no. And you never want to go over the same spot again because then it turns bitter. We bring a noted oh, chef in. There's and bitter, okay. Julie here. Here we go. Botch in the whole deal. I'll let you do it. Okay. Kidding. <laughs> You're so good. So I proud didn't of hear you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. So yeah. this, we, you just want kind of like just the top of the skin because, like I said, if you go deeper, it's going to turn bitter. This is just to infuse. We're not attempting any sort of ceviche or anything like that, no, right? No, this, Which this actually, we, we're going to eat this. Okay. This, we're nice. actually eating this. I love eating and, that. Uh, and we're going to use the juices as well when we cook. It's going to oh. all go in the sauce. Oh. Nice. 
garlic like butter. Garlic butter, you know, I use garlic butter a lot. It's just, it's, it's a lot farms easier. Curry infused with garlic Curry right farms there. infused butter, yeah. Right there. So um, what I'm also gonna do is, uh, since it's kind of Asian inspired, you know, Hawaiian cuisine is Asian inspired, I'm gonna put some sesame seeds in there. Nice. And uh, I mean, if one wanted to, you could spice it up with chili uh, if you wanted to, but this fish is so delicious by itself mm. that you, don't you, wanna really, you really want to keep it as simple as you can. Okay, okay. So you highlight the flavor of the fish. You really have to taste the fish, not all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, now, what mm -hmm. temperature do you cook this fish all the way through, or are you well, gonna leave it? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna slow it down okay. a lot. Yes. I always believe in, in searing everything uh, and, and close all the raw sides before you really start putting any spices on, especially if you use salt, because salt will draw out moisture from fish. So you, you, you wanna not do that right away, right? Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here and put that on like that. Sesame seeds. And sesame mm. seeds. And we need a little bit of salt and pepper. Wow. Always salt and pepper. Your two best friends. Mm -hmm. So if you have a lid for one of these pans, that's great. You can put that on. And we, obviously, we need a little wine on there. Three tablespoons. Just a little more. It was? Yeah. Well, there's three chef tablespoons. Okay. So basically, you just take, put a little juice in here from oh. what you got working. So nice. And then we'll put that lid on over there. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, that's a good way to do it. If you have a lid for the pan, it's even better. But, you know, in restaurants, that's what we do. So now it just sits in there and we'll let that cook. So in the meantime, over here, we're gonna work on, on some uh, fried rice. Oh. So leftover rice is great to use for fried rice. So I brought a little leftover rice from the restaurant and I have some, you know, I'm trying to use all the leftovers. Right, that's what a good chef does. That's money. That's money. Yes. And um, I have some onions and carrots, and this is collalini. It's a cross between cauliflower and broccolini. Uh-oh, how and they get an, together? It's a nice... Well, it was at one time, that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is sesame oil. Okay. And we're gonna put a little onions on. So, here, yeah, we'll take this here. And at the rice? At the rice, yep. And then we ha have these onions here, too. We're gonna put a little bit of them on the fish. Can you do that? Can you, can you I, do the fancy fast. cut? No, no. Well, because it's an Asian inspired dish, time. you always cut uh, mm -hmm. cut it on a bias. That's right, you told me that one time. Yeah. Oh, those so were. Uh, we're gonna put them on top of there. So is this sauce thickening? It's actually yeah, thickening yes. a little bit. It, it, okay. it will. By the time it's ready. That looks just like a plate of slaw. Well. Right now? You know, uh, I try to put a lot of vegetables in it too, so you're not eating just rice. Right. It makes it healthier too. And then what I'm doing, I'm putting a little bit of soy sauce on there. And, and when we talk about uh, flavoring food too, is salt and pepper is very important, but also acidity is very important. So it's amazing uh, sometimes when you have a, a soup or a sauce, you taste it and you can you have salt and pepper in it, but it's missing something. So by putting a little bit of acidity in there, you highlight all the flavors in there. So it's also important to use that as a flavoring agent last minute acidity. It could be come in wine, vinegar, or citrus. Nice. I see you do that. Do you, is it well, a spongy kind of? Did you wash your hands no. at any time today? I'm not gonna feel confident with that decision. Okay, okay well, what we do is we, we we, we feel here to see. Oh, yeah, Look what I did. Oh my. Oh, okay. That. I pushed too hard. Why don't right. you tell me you to do that? Doing... We, we thought that we the just talked were an about... issue. You haven't seen Julie's finger, folks. We just talked about yeah, how we'll nice that like keeps that the fish together. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's you're, okay. you're now banned it's from okay. this. Yeah, I don't think you can be the protege that you were hoping to be. Uh, I was wanting to it's be almost the sous chef. Yeah, the sous chef. Chef. And of course, if you're uncomfortable with cooking this in the pan, you can put it in the oven too. Okay. Uh, especially if you make it uh, for a party of eight, that's okay. gonna be tough to do on a stove, and then you can put it in the oven. Same way, you know, 
uh, put it in a little tray with all the juices and everything, just like I showed you, and put it in the oven. How long is it a warm serving? Uh, depending on your oven, like 10 minutes. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put this rice on. And you know, we don't have to just put it in a pile. Wow. Because everybody always just puts it in a pile. We don't wanna do that. So we're gonna take the fish. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then this sauce here is, oh. it's delicious. We're gonna put that on top. Wow. Okay. Wow. And what do you call this dish at the restaurant? Uh, Opaka paka, or then wow. we can just sprinkle a little bit of this Color. on top. That's it. All right, well, you know what this means. That we means... have to take all those beautiful pictures. We go to break, we sample it. I can already guarantee you it's going to be delish. And we'll be right back. Coming up on the Spiel. Story that happened last uh, uh, spring, uh, early summer, a pro pro a professional comes in. We have team girls come in. Nice. They said arguably she might be one of the best hitters in America. Uh, she hit 75 to 78 miles an hour every pitch. Uh, when she left my cage, well, in three swings, she hit 91 miles an hour, make it a long story short, so. It's hard to teach a fisherman anything. Have you ever seen one of these? I've never seen one in my life before. Okay. What is it? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make this beautiful fish of yours into a salmon carpaccio. A wild sockeye carpaccio. See here how we make some peel like that? All right. So if you take these two here, and okay. do the same thing and just create a little bit of that for me. So I have a little bit of garlic butter here. And uh, these slices that we cut, very thin pieces. And we're gonna create like a round pattern so it fits up on a round plate when we're done. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on it. Like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this lime, a little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon. A quick way of doing this is we're gonna give this a bunch, All right. of, bunch of citrus. With uh, different varieties, yes. I like it. So it's like a quick citrus cure, but we're still gonna put it in the oven. This is just gonna sit, and you know how that acid Absolutely. gets into the fish and gives it and flavor? It cures the fish. We won't cook this fish very much. This is gonna be super quick. Two, two minutes. At our very core, we're a community bank that invests in our communities. We're here to serve the customer. We're not here just for your checking account. We're also going to be here to teach your kids financial soundness. We're also going to be here for your next home and make sure that you're set up correctly. We've been here since 1906 and, and we're not going anywhere. Decisions quickly, locally. We are very progressive in our thinking, always looking for better ways to serve our customers. You are either go to your branch or look at our website. One of our mottos is that we're building better community since 1906. My name is Peter Ha, and I am uh, an incoming freshman uh, about to attend Yale University in the fall of 2019. So initially, I applied to the Garvin Family Foundation in order to attend a particle physics course at uh, Stanford's pre-collegiate program. And so there, it was like a two to three week long program where I would you know, study particle physics and I'd attend lectures at the collegiate level. But on top of that, Garvin was like really generous in offering me another opportunity to kind of expand my non-academic interests. I really like doing martial arts, specifically Taekwondo, which is a Korean martial art involving a lot of kicking. Because I wanted to pursue it at a higher level, um, I actually had an opportunity to go train at Yongin University in South Korea, and Garwin was really generous enough in um, reimbursing my flights and making sure that I had enough resources in order to attend. So that was, it, it, it just reaffirmed the fact that the GFF was not only like really generous in like fostering my academic interests but also on top of that like my other extracurricular passions and so I'm so thankful for that yeah seriously for the people who want to pursue Garwin just apply to as many places that interest you in the slightest and do whatever like really fosters your passion I'd say You know, at the Spiel, we go after the very best of everything. That's right, the very best muscles, very best <laughs> the muscles. very best uh, techniques. The tallest people, 
And today we yes. have Terry Coons of Max Velo Swing. Listen, you're just hearing about him. He's all over the internet and you're gonna wanna dial in. You're gonna wanna find out what's going on because if you've got a kid in sports, we all know this parents, right? Yes. Our kids get up to bat and it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We're going to get popcorn. You can help take a lot of that fear away because you're helping to improve athletes. It's worked so far. It has, yes. I mean, that's, take a bow. I mean, that's good, good, good. So 30 years of work. Right at it, yes, ma'am. Okay. and. Where does that passion come from? Why the ultimate softball swing? Why did you feel like you needed to, to get to this point today? Well, I started back in the early 1990s, and I, the farther we went up, I saw the uh, better uh, pitchers start dominating the hitters. Mm -hmm. And I kind of developed a technique that we took away the launch angle on the bat, and they just keep making consistent contact, and you're utilizing every bit of your body strength for your toe, it's down to your fingertips wow. to hit the softball. Wow. So it makes you like a major leaguer. I mean, you are the real deal, and if they allowed softball in the Olympics, which I think they should, they should bring it back, these girls are going to be ready for that. Now, was it because you had daughters in the sport, or have you always had an interest in the softball? Well, I started just because of my daughters, okay. and then I just... It just developed into my passion okay. just to succeed with the, the girls hitting, making hard contact with the yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. Do you have the naysayers? Meaning? As in, like, ah, oh, what oh, I know how to but, teach and what? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really funny. I had uh, baseball players come in and they're saying, why are you doing a technique like this? And I said, because you actually hit the ball harder. And they say, uh, no, uh, right. it's not going to work. Uh, this time, uh, right. But I'm fortunate <laughs> I have access to a hit track machine. and. Uh, they step in the uh, cage, I give them 15, 20, 25 swings their way, and okay. they use my technique, and never once has it not gained at least five miles ex extra velocity. Wow. On every person? Every person. Uh, wow. for we could even do it. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Well, you get mine up to six then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all of this is it's scientific. I mean, you've been measuring mm -hmm. this. The, you've got testimonials. You've got young ladies who are using this right. technique and wanting to tell the world about it. It's amazing what you've done for these girls. I started playing softball when I was around five years old, and I've continued through my whole entire life. I started going to Terry about three, four months ago. Before I started out with Terry, like, I really wasn't as confident out at the plate. I always struggled really hard, and I never really had, like, good contact with the ball ever. I really did need to improve my game. Last year, my freshman year, I struggled really hard at the plate. I kind of picked my head up and realized that I needed to try harder, so I came here and started doing two times a week. I started out at, like, 55 five miles per hour exit velocity and within like three to four months I'm now at 72 miles an hour for my exit velocity and my batting averages also came up a lot. I'm definitely a whole lot stronger like I can so tell and everybody else says they can tell. I have talked to many friends about Terry and telling them how his technique has worked very well for me and how they need to try it out. My biggest problem was pop-ups, getting out by pop-ups a lot and now it's line drive right through the middle most of the time getting on base. It's just so amazing, like my improvement that I really saw like within myself. I'm a whole lot more confident. I just feel like a whole much better player and everything throughout the sport. How, you know, what is it for you? What, is it just, you know, kind of seeing the, the wink in their eye or the twinkle in their eye that, you know, they, they have that confidence now and, and they are going to be able to do better? Right, yeah. I've had, a, for example, players come in and I had a father said, my daughter struck out almost 50 times oh, wow. over the course of a season. He buys popcorn a lot. He's like, oh my God, wow. my kids up to right, right. Well, uh, they brought her in here and he, not too long ago, he said, hey, she hit three uh, triples in a ball game. And awesome. it's just amazing as the contact and That's the awesome. success she's having now. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Do, have you ever had that student who's like, oh, honey, you just don't have it. Take up. <laughs> Uh, running, you have, running, you, going really? Track. I've, I've had uh, several of them. They all have potential, but they've all gained, and they were just uh, fascinated by how she did this, and now she led the team in hitting this year. Okay, that all is, right. So. That's crazy. There's room that's for improvement great. if you're willing to work at it, absolutely. And obviously, we would like you to run through the technique, but you know that's going to be available online in part because everybody's going to want it. Uh, we want to share it with you. You are going to be doing events. You're going to be around. You're sponsored by Stack Supplements, and you know you're you're aren't you probably spend a little bit of time in there. And, I do. Okay, yes. just just a little bit. And in the gym, perfecting I, this. I do. Go to Stack Supplements and get yeah. your well, supplements. Look. And go to the gym. Yeah. Did you see that? I know. We could we could learn a lot. <laughs> He's the Ar Arnold of our area. Yeah, you know, just again to reaffirm that we're not going to bring anybody on the spiel unless we stand behind right. what it is that they're offering. And you have gone to some of the greats. You have gone to some respected coaches mm -hmm. and gotten the nod. Talk about that. 
Oh, uh, well, the best coach, in my opinion, of all times is Jerry Glasgow mm -hmm. softball. He can take any level a player and win with them. Yeah. yeah but Jerry and I are on two different missions. He coaches the players, wins with them. I build those players. There you go. What age do you like to start them at? Uh, is it, it too uh, early for any, or? Uh, usually five, six-year-old girls, you get them started, but uh, I work with all levels. A uh, uh, story that happened last uh, uh, spring, uh, early summer, a pro pro a professional comes in. We have team girls come in. Nice. They said, arguably, she might be one of the best hitters in America. She plays for the uh, Chicago Bandits. Uh -huh. She came in, uh, gave her 20 pitches. Uh, she hit 75 to 78 miles an hour every pitch. Uh, when she left my cage, well, in three swings, she hit 91 miles an hour, make a long story short. So. Wow. She, wow. Yeah. That's wow. And you know, what coaches should understand, because I'm sure we have some watching, you haven't done anything wrong. It's just finding an enhancement. Right. And oh, making yes. it better. Absolutely. Improving your girl, you know, so she's right. just unstoppable, which mm -hmm. is what we're after. That's you know, right. We want our athletes to best, be the best that they could be and right. um, instill some confidence in our kids. Yes. It's a good thing. How All can right. folks find you and watch some of your techniques? Uh, they can go to my Facebook page. Uh, and it's all over right now. All over. Yeah. Max Velo swing, the ultimate softball swing. Terry Koontz, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't heard, look him up because I do think that you will be impressed. And better yet, if you have that softball player at home, man, it's going to be amazing. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thanks we'll be right back. Thanks. Coming up on the spiel. I'm so lonesome down and broken. I never knew. This is how low a man could get Tripping off into life as a rambler Whose broken heart just can't mend what he did I never thought I'd be this far when I first started here at John A. I've been curious about cars since I was about 20 years old. Taking panels apart, uh, sanding, being here at John A you get that one-on-one -on -one attention that you, you probably wouldn't get if you went to a big university. The environment is friendly. I sought this opportunity uh, just to grow. There is always opportunity here, regardless of what you're trying to accomplish. John A. Logan College. Why would you go anywhere else? The must-have is somebody that knows what they're doing. Brian and his crew are just fabulous. His craftsmanship is just incredible. He's very good to work with. He gave me the look that I wanted. He does the job right, and it's done right the first time. Professional all the way. They work with you. We needed a building that was professional-looking, very durable, functional, and Brian fulfilled all those needs. They show up. They put their heart and soul into this. I wouldn't have used anybody else. I've had very good success with him, and, and the ones I've sent, they've had success too. For all my professional career, I've been at the law firm Winters, Brewster, Crosby, and Schaefer. I've specialized in litigation, in personal injury, employment law, malpractice, the things you go to court for. You know, I like to help people out when they're injured, when they have problems, when the odds seem stacked against them. It's important for people to realize we take every person who walks through the door seriously. People shouldn't be put off by not wanting to talk to a stranger about it. You know, because at the end of the day, we won't be strangers. Prairie Farms presents Did You Know with Chef Rob. Hi, Chef Rob here. We all need 25 to 30 grams of protein with each meal, and milk really delivers breakfast protein. It helps with energy and focus, keeps you feeling fuller longer, maintains bone health, maintains healthy weight, and also helps with lean muscle mass. So fuel your morning with protein and start your day with Prairie Farms milk. Today we're talking about Rolling Meadows, and it's an unusual property because I'm going to call it a, a sort of an eight-minute wonder. It's about eight minutes from Giant City State Park. It's about eight minutes from all the local lakes. It's about eight minutes from SIU. It's about five minutes from the mall. It offers probably one of the best combinations of residential and, and rural living. You've got about 900 square feet, heat pumps uh, with built-in office, two bedrooms big enough for for king or queen beds, and so that makes an unusual property. Woodruff Management is the exclusive rental agent for Rolling Meadows. Just check our website, woodruffmanagement.com. You'll find us there. Click and you're in. The Spiel presents, you're on. 
100% original new music. I'm Zach Modulin, and this is The Rambler. I'm Jill Lewis and I'm a Faster Way to Fat Loss coach. The Faster Way to Fat Loss is the premier virtual fitness and nutrition program in the market. There, there are a lot of messages out there, a lot of mixed messages in the marketplace about how to lose fat, you know, having more energy and all that. For me to just make the process very simple for them and give them five things to really focus on, that just really like opens their eyes. It makes them feel so much better. Like, yes, I can do this. Yes, this is easy. This is something that is attainable and even more than that is sustainable. There's something for everybody in the program and they can do it at home. Every day when I get out of bed and I start thinking about my day, I am just excited because it is my passion to make women and men feel and look their absolute best. That is what I thrive on doing. I know that this program made me feel amazing and I know that it can help everybody else out there and I want to bring it into as many households as I possibly can. We are monitoring all of your preventative health. 
I'm Marlissa Boyles. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Clay Medical Center, which is one of our 11 clinics out of the Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation. We have implemented PCMH, Patient Care Medical Home. We work in collaboration with many specialists. This helps in tracking what you need for your age and any preventative screening. We would love to have you here in our family. Visit us at crhpc.org. They have problems and you can help them solve those problems. Been a lawyer here since 1976. We've seen a lot. We've been involved in a lot over the years. That's part of what we offer to our clients. The practice has evolved into specialties. Of our philosophy has been the first visit is free. Taking that time is at no cost. It gives us an opportunity to see whether or not we can uh, do anything for them. I've enjoyed the interaction with those folks over the years helping them. It has been a very gratifying experience. You're watching The Spiel. And another incredible show. I'm still full of that. You learned so much. Yes. Incredible yes. snapper. What's the name of it? Papaka Naka Waka. Paka. Oh, Paka Paka. Paka Paka. Paka 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 Paka. I love it. If you're the Pac Man, it's something there, else I've got to just ask you. It's gotta a burning ask me. question it's important. on my mind. Burning. You know, Christmas time comes around. Matter of fact, Say we're in the Halloween season. Spring, Just say we were. Summer, summer, fall, Halloween, pumpkins. When do you put your tree up? You know, listen. You have a big thing. I on that. have a huge thing on that. Let me tell you. I have a huge thing on that. And back to when did retailers think it's okay to put it out in? I mean, they're doing it what in um, July? It's, come on. You got to wait. I mean, we need to get through October. Enjoy your pumpkins, all that good stuff. You know, put the scary faces in. Mm -hmm. Then you're into harvest. You're mm -hmm. into November and Thanksgiving. Turn the ugly face around. You still got your pumpkins. Yeah. Got your nice spread there. Wait till after you have digested your turkey, the trimmings, and then you can say, you know what? Let's move on to Christmas. Uh -huh. There it is. That's how you feel. That's the way that I feel. Okay. I've and I'm typically seen... right. <laughs> Yeah. I've already seen three trees up in windows. Oh, honey. We're not that it's, 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 it, Listen. But you know what? That's their... I used to be like you. Yeah. But I think it's their opinion. I mean, that's what they totally, want. Totally. Totally. But I do respect these people. I'm like, girl, you got it going on where they just got smart. And they're like, you know what? Fine. If you have a problem with me putting my tree up in January or February, here's what I'm going to do. They start to decorate it with shamrocks. They start to decorate it with oh, the hearts. hearts. They start to decorate it. You know, so there you go. There's a happy, happy me. When do you take it down? Now, that's another thing. I think there used to be an old wives' tale about some bad mojo or whatever if you didn't get it down at before the new year or right after the new year. Let's look that up. We'll okay, have to we'll look it. it up. Yeah. But you leave yours up till March or what? What's, no, what's no, good no, for no. you? Okay. Matter of fact, when they're unwrapping presents, I'm taking off bulbs. Because I've See, had it because you're done with it. That's, done. that's what I'm saying. I'm no, no. I'm like, hurry, so let's soon. unwrap these presents. I got to put this Now, on. I will tell you that most people spend the most money on their Christmas decorations, and their home looks beautiful. beautiful. And you do it for a month where the harvest and the pumpkins in the fall, you're there for two months, two and a half. So it would be nice to flip flop those. So right. if Jesus could be born, like maybe, you know, uh, <laughs> I cannot believe you're following along with me. I really like, am. We could we could think about this, but no, I, I agree. It should be a little Something bit Something that someone told me one time, which okay. have you thought of this? I didn't take my tree down this year till March. No, wait. Their son was in the service, and that was when he was coming home. How about that? I'm all about it. I'm going to leave my tree up as well. See? If you'd like to come to my house with your service person, Let's plan. I It'll love be good. That. We'll I go to Julie's because we know hers will be up. No, mine will be tree gone. Be. If you want to come to mine, uh, uh, Labor Day. Okay. <laughs> you can see the tree. Okay. But once them presents are gone. That's it. All right. Um, what do we need to do? We've we got some work. housekeeping stuff. I mean, we, we need guests. I mean, if you've got a talent, if you know how to juggle, fire eat. We've said it. You're a singer, songwriter. Yeah. Please get a hold of Funny us. Funny person. We'd love to have Call you us. We'd like to have you. Yeah. If and you collect uh, really odd items. Odd items. I love yes. odd items. Please give us a call. She needs something to put under her Christmas tree when I she puts do. it up in October or November. I do. Uh, Rob is looking for the word. The Would word? it be a paka paka or that's we've we've paka we've, paka is Maui 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 mahi, red mahi mahi. mahi. Yes. We never did find out why they repeated. Okay. It. Here we go. Let's see. Mahi mahi. Per ambulate, Was walk or travel through or around a place or area, especially for pleasure and in a leisurely way. 
Well, where would you do that at? I would like to perambulate in Greece. Oh. Uh, is that is that how you apply it, Rob? I would wherever, I, huh? I would so. Okay, wherever I want to walk around leisurely and for pleasure. There could even be a wedding there when we go to Greece. Who knows? There could be. Yeah, and could we be. could. Pre, is it preamble? We're going <laughs> to perambulate. We're going to, uh, like sachet, perambulate. Perambulate. Yes. Oh, or, you know what another word for that is? Walk around. Frolic. I love to frolic, huh? Mm. Uh, see? That's great. So we're going to use frolic or perambulate. perambulate. Just so we'll see if you get it right. You ready? Okay, four. per am you late How about that, Rob? We are getting better with time, folks. <laughs> we'll see you next time.
when you lose your teeth, you lose not just the ability to chew and eat and smile, which is a big thing, but you lose a part of yourself. It was life changing when I came into Dr. Hughes. It showed me videos and models and these are the choices we had, these were the options. Training matters, experience matters. The thing which is extremely important is compassion. It brings back your ability to chew, restoring a sense of dignity. Come in and see Dr. Hughes, the greatest thing I ever did for myself. My name is Hannah. I'm an international student from Brazil studying deaf studies here at John A. I looked at cost of living, the affordability of each school, the security of the area, the quality of the course, and John A. had a really good program. What fascinates me the most is our sense of warmth. I expected good education, I expected all sorts of things, but I did not expect a human factor. More than a community college we're a community john a logan college why would you go anywhere else serving you since 1966 larry's trailer sales invites you to come rving with us visiting popular destinations throughout southern illinois little grassy campground devil's kitchen lake bald knob cross with hundreds of travel trailers fifth wheels and motorhomes larry's trailer sales is also a leader in parts and service even providing roadside assistance home of rv warranty forever larry's trailer sales just off 148 in mulkey town illinois and online at larry's trailer sales.com these days video is everywhere tvs computers even your phone with so many ways to use video to reach your potential audience it's become an important part of doing business. If you like the commercials you've seen during the spiel, and if your business could benefit from a creative approach to telling your story, with attention-grabbing visuals and thoughtfully executed scripts, perhaps it's time you give Growing Media a call. We'd love to hear from you. My name's uh, Marsha Ryan. My parents were Ruth and Leo Garwin, and in about 1993, they created the Garwin Family Foundation. Its purpose was to sponsor students in the arts, science, math. We began with the MDJD program at the Schools of Law and Medicine here at SIU, and then about five years ago, we transitioned to Carbondale Community High School. It is our goal to give summer opportunities to really remarkable kids. And we typically underwrite four or maybe five to go to programs that are between two and six weeks of, in length. I would really like to thank them. It, without the Garwin Family Foundation, I wouldn't know, you know the possibilities that I have. Just thank you for like providing. It, it just reaffirmed the fact that the GFF was not only like generous in like fostering my academic interests, but also on top of that, like my other extracurricular passions. And so I'm so thankful for that, yeah. We actually ask these young people to be adults. They're donating thousands of dollars to people getting into these programs, which is huge. Gosh, I'm so thankful for the experience that I had. It, it sounds like we're, that we're doing this selflessly, but the truth is we enjoy every last minute of it.